Yo, welcome back to the channel. Now, on our very first recap video on this particular channel, we'll be looking at the last major topic that was treated, which is differences between the spoken central Igbo tongue and Ibizube, the natural versus the artificially made. Now, the main thrust of that video was to clarify and um, to illustrate the differences between the spoken central Igbo tongue as we know today and the Ibizube which we actually used to write. In fact, it was a video that looked at the development of spoken Igbo and also written Igbo. There are a lot of details in it, but in the introduction, the need for the video came about for us to be able to differentiate what we know as a spoken, the spoken central Igbo tongue and Ibizube. Now, they are not actually the same thing. Among the Igbo people today, if you go into the townships, all the major towns and uh, the cities as we have today, there's a tendency to get what is now known as the a central Igbo tongue, so to say. That is to say that it tends to be used far and wide and it also shows a high level of comprehensibility across several towns. You get it in most of the townships, most of the cities. Now, it is different from what we know as Ibizube. Ibizube is what is used as writing. It is mostly taught to the children to show them how to write, but it is not actually central. And uh, in this particular video, we looked into the differences. We looked at how that natural central Igbo tongue was developed among the Igbo people and also how what you know as Ibizube was developed by a woman known as Caroline Ida Ward. So this is just a brief introduction of what was spoken about in the video.